Imagine standing on the shore of a vast dark ocean, wondering what lies beyond the horizon. That same curiosity drove us to explore the cosmic ocean of space. In 1977, we launched Voyager 1, a spacecraft built not for water, but for the vacuum of space. Voyager 1 was our eyes and ears, sent to explore the outer planets and beyond. It was a leap of faith, a testament to our relentless desire to know what's out there. The team at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory packed it with the best technology of the time, cameras, sensors, and instruments to study the unknown. Voyager 1 was never meant to return, it was built to endure, to travel farther than anything before it. It was our message in a bottle, cast into the cosmic sea. On September 5, 1977, a rocket lifted Voyager 1 from Cape Canaveral, carrying the hopes of an entire planet. As it broke free from Earth's gravity, it became a symbol of our ingenuity and courage. The journey would be long and perilous, but the rewards, immeasurable. We were finally setting sail on the greatest ocean of all. This is the story of Voyager 1, our first true ambassador to the stars. Voyager 1 had a twin, Voyager 2. Together they embarked on the grand tour of the outer solar system. Thanks to a rare planetary alignment, a single spacecraft could visit Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Voyager 1's mission, explore Jupiter and Saturn, and their mysterious moons. Its technology was primitive by today's standards, less memory than a single photo on your phone, yet, it navigated autonomously, collected data, and sent it back across millions of miles. We'd only seen blurry images of these planets before, Voyager 1 was about to change that. Equipped with cameras and scientific instruments it was a robotic explorer, geologist and photographer in one. The mission was ambitious, the risks high but the adventure was irresistible. The grand tour was humanity's bold leap into the unknown. To reach the outer planets, Voyager 1 used a brilliant trick gravity assist. By flying close to Jupiter, it stole some of the planet's orbital energy, slingshotting itself faster and farther. In 1979, Voyager 1 executed this maneuver perfectly, capturing breathtaking images of Jupiter's swirling storms and the Great Red Spot. Its cameras revealed Jupiter's moons as dynamic worlds, Io with erupting volcanoes and Europa with hints of a hidden ocean. These discoveries transformed our understanding of the solar system. Voyager 1 then sped toward Saturn, arriving in 1980. It revealed Saturn's rings in exquisite detail and discovered new moons weaving among the ringlets. The flyby of Titan, Saturn's largest moon, showed a thick, hazy atmosphere. Another mystery. This final encounter slung Voyager 1 out of the solar system's plane, setting it on a path toward the stars. In just a few years, Voyager 1 had rewritten the story of our cosmic neighborhood. Its journey was far from over, the real adventure was just beginning. After Jupiter and Saturn, Voyager 1's primary mission was complete, but its journey continued. It sailed through the heliosphere, the sun's magnetic bubble, sending back data on solar wind and cosmic rays. In 1990 at Carl Sagan's request, Voyager 1 turned its camera back for a final portrait of the planets. Earth appeared as a pale blue dot, a fragile speck in the vastness. In 2012 Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause, entering interstellar space, the first human-made object to do so. Today, it's over 15 billion miles from Earth, its faint signal still reaching us. Voyager 1 continues to send precious data from the space between the stars. It is our first direct sample of the galaxy beyond our solar system, a lonely explorer still reporting from the final frontier. Attached to Voyager 1 is the Golden Record, a 12-inch gold-plated disc. It's a time capsule for any intelligent life that might find it. Curated by Carl Sagan and his team, the record contains 115 images, sounds of Earth and music from around the world. Greetings in 55 languages say, Hello from the children of planet Earth. The odds of it being found are tiny, but the record's true purpose was to reflect on who we are. It made us consider our place in the universe and what message we'd send to the stars. The golden record is a symbol of hope and connection. Even if no one ever finds it, it says we were here. We reached out. We dared to dream. Voyager 1's most profound legacy is a new perspective on ourselves. The pale blue dot image, taken from billions of miles away, shows Earth as a tiny point of light. Carl Sagan called it, a moat of dust suspended in a sunbeam. Every human story, every joy and sorrow played out on that tiny dot. The image humbles us, reminding us of our shared vulnerability and unity. From this distant vantage our conflicts and divisions seem trivial. The pale blue dot challenges us to cherish and protect our only home. It's a mirror asking us to see the bigger picture. 
Voyager's legacy is unity, responsibility, and perspective. It inspires us to care for our fragile world. Voyager 1's journey hasn't been without challenges. In 2023, it began sending back gibberish, caused by a faulty memory chip. The NASA team, 15 billion miles away, couldn't replace the chip so they rewrote the code, storing it in different memory sections. Each command took 22 hours to reach Voyager, and another 22 to hear back. After months of painstaking work, Voyager 1 spoke sense again. This triumph was a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. Voyager 1's story is about curiosity, resilience, and our quest to understand the universe. Built by one generation, it continues to inspire the next. It teaches us that with courage and creativity, we can overcome the impossible. Voyager reminds us of the preciousness of our world and the importance of working together. More than a machine, it's a symbol of hope. As it sails on, Voyager 1 carries our dreams into the stars. And so, the cosmic ocean awaits, still calling us to explore.